This president believes he is above the law. Welcome to the fifth day of this circus. The president of the United States has five Pinocchios on a daily basis, so let's not go there. He, quote, loves your ass, unquote. After two weeks of public impeachment hearings, what stood out? We've heard from 12 witnesses over 50 hours. The biggest bombshell came from this man, Gordon Sondland, the U.S. ambassador to the EU. He confirmed that there was a quid pro quo between the United States and Ukraine, promising this in exchange for that. Mr. Giuliani's requests were a quid pro quo. He says his team was told to work closely with Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal lawyer, by order of Donald Trump himself. And Giuliani wanted to pressure Ukraine to investigate Trump's Democratic rival, Joe Biden, and his son. And he said everybody in the White House knew about it. Everyone was in the loop. For Democrats, this is a Trump donor saying he knew a White House visit was being used as leverage, and he presumed the same went for suspended U.S. military aid. But Trump and his Republican defenders picked up on a different part of Sondland's testimony about a conversation he had with the president. I want nothing. That's what I want from Ukraine. That's what I said. So Trump's off the hook. Well, those instructions were given in September, just days before the Ukraine dealings went public. Was Donald Trump just covering his tracks? I'll call you back. Phone calls were a recurring theme this week. On Tuesday, we heard from Jennifer Williams, a State Department official, and Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman of the National Security Council, who both listened in on the now infamous July 25th phone call between Donald Trump and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Both thought the call was inappropriate. It involved discussion of what appeared to be a domestic political matter. There also were revelations about a new phone call the very next day between Donald Trump and the EU ambassador where they talked about investigations. That conversation was overheard by David Holmes, another witness, and confirmed by Sondland himself. Uh, the initial part of the call, Ambassador Sondland sort of, when the president came on the call, uh, he sort of winced and held the phone away from his ear. Yeah, it sounds like something I would say. The call indicates how deeply involved Donald Trump was in all of this. So what does this mean for Trump? A lot of foreign policy professionals in government were concerned about what was going on in the White House. And one of the men at the center of the controversy, Gordon Sondland, has now testified that they were right. American viewers have been tuning in by the millions, but it's still too early to tell whether enough minds have been changed to put Donald Trump at serious risk.